The following is an ESG Lab video. Hello and welcome to this ESG Lab video summary. Over the next few minutes, I'll be reviewing the results from a recently completed ESG Lab validation of NetApp EF flash arrays for SQL Server databases. In a recent ESG survey of IT professionals, organizations identified several challenges they are dealing with in their current environments. Among the top responses, they highlighted managing data growth and database size, as well as meeting database performance requirements as top challenges. I'd like to emphasize that in the context of databases, response time is a critical component of performance as it has a direct impact on the responsiveness of applications and the experience of users. As we noted in the beginning of this video review, the top concern for IT professionals was managing database size and data growth. The EF560 solves this problem by scaling up to 192 terabytes of SAN attached storage capacity, all managed under a single interface in a single system, and it offers a flexible mix of host connectivity options. Built on the field-proven reliability of the NetApp Santricity architecture, with nearly a million storage systems deployed worldwide, the NetApp EF560 All Flash Array is designed specifically for high availability database-driven environments, demanding maximum performance, reliability, and availability. In addition, the EF series maximizes both transactional I.O. and total throughput while minimizing response times, as we'll see in just a few seconds. First, let's take a look at the read performance across different RAID protection schemes. ESG Labs started with a testbed consisting of two SQL Server systems connected via 16 gigabit fiber channel to a dual controller NetApp EF560 storage system, configured as a high availability, or HA pair. The goal of this test was to measure performance at an average latency close to 500 microseconds. All three RAID levels delivered about 450,000 IOPS in the 500 microsecond range, and there was not much variance between the response times in each test. After we measured read performance, we tested the throughput capability of the EF560. In this test, the EF560 was able to sustain nearly 8 gigabytes per second write and more than 12 gigabytes per second of read throughput. The EF560 is able to deliver extremely high IOPS with low latency and great throughput. Next, we looked at workloads typically seen in SQL Server environments. An industry standard storage utility was used to emulate the typical operations of transaction-oriented real-world SQL Server databases, characterized by largely random I.O. with a mix of reads and writes. EF560 performance was consistent as the storage workload was increased across all tests, with flat response times scaling to hundreds of thousands of IOPS. The EF560 delivered over 188,000 IOPS at 500 microseconds and more than 225,000 IOPS at under 1 millisecond. The EF560 is capable of servicing very demanding transactional requirements of real-world SQL Server databases with consistent performance and response time. NetApp has made impressive performance improvements compared to the previous generation EF550. This graph shows that the EF560 delivered up to 3.3 times the simulated OLTP performance of the previous generation EF series, with 500 microsecond response times. NetApp DDP achieved more than 150,000 IOPS at an average latency of 533 microseconds, showing that administrators can leverage the advantages of DDP without compromising SQL Server performance. In addition, NetApp has included a long list of advanced reliability, availability, and serviceability features in the NetApp EF flash arrays, including dynamic disk pools, automated support, data integrity protection, and non-disruptive maintenance operations, and the Santricity plugin for a SQL Server Management Studio to support the ever-increasing pace of business. And let's not forget the importance of reliability. NetApp tracks the in-service reliability of all field-deployed EF series platforms. ESG Lab reviewed the data, which shows that the EF series achieved an outstanding 6.9's availability. To put that into perspective, 6.9's availability is equivalent to just 31.5 seconds of downtime per year. That's about 2.5 seconds of downtime per month. ESG Lab is pleased to report that the NetApp EF series delivers consistently high performance at low response times, along with advanced functionality like thin provisioning, enhanced snapshots, and dynamic disk pools. NetApp EF Series is clearly well suited to support a mix of demanding real-world business applications running in a performance-critical SQL Server database infrastructure. Organizations considering or planning SQL Server database workload consolidation will be well served to take a close look at the NetApp EF Series. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESG Lab Validation Report from the website. 